This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Melissa Francis with me. You're the program manager at St. Lawrence Rideau Immigration Partnership, Leeds and Grenville. You've been here before. <laughs> I have. Thanks for having us again, Kathy. All right. So let's talk a little bit about what, what it is uh, the St. Lawrence Rideau Immigration Partnership is about. Sure. So we have been around uh, about 12 years and our jurisdiction covers all of Leeds and Grenville and we're funded by the federal government and there are nearly 80 other immigration partnerships across the country. We were one of the first that was established in Ontario and immigration partnerships exist to support communities in becoming more welcoming for immigrants. So we have different initiatives that we do every year, um, Diversity Day that we're going to be talking about um, soon. Um, we have an Immigrant Entrepreneur Award that we do that allows um, some special recognition for entrepreneurs who are immigrants um, running businesses in Leeds and Grenville. Um, we do research on immigration numbers and consultations with immigrants to see what their experience is like here in Leeds and Grenville, the good and the bad of it. Um, and generally, we're sort of in the background supporting organizations that provide frontline services to immigrants. And I mean, right now, you know, off the top of my head, I, I, I think employment. So many people need employees, you know, and people that come with a, a skill set, a, a talent base, uh, the, the want to work, too. I mean, that's got to be, you know, great to have these people come into our country and, and want to help out. Mm -hmm. It's definitely beneficial, especially especially these days. Um, the thing is, communities across Canada are sort of competing for these newcomers that have the skill sets that we need. So this is another reason why immigration partnerships are pretty important, because we want to make Leeds and Grenville a really amazing place for immigrants to come, and we want their experience to be good here so they stay and not go to a larger city centre, which sometimes happens. All right. So do, do people reach out to uh, like a program like yours? Because it, I, I, it surprises me sometimes when you talk to somebody who wasn't born here, but, you know, how they made their way to Smith Falls or they made their way to <laughs> Kempville or Brockville. And they say, how did you choose us? Like, this is great that you did. I'm so glad you did. But how did you choose us? <laughs> but mm -hmm. it would be a program like yours. Yes, us and um, the school board also funds um, an immigrant services program. So they, we refer to them all the time. They teach language classes, they do language assessment. They will sit down one-on-one -on -one with an immigrant and make sure they're making proper connections in the community, whether it's getting their children enrolled in school or trying to find food from their home country. Um, they cover everything. So they're another important partner here. So you have a, an event going on, a diversity day on uh, December 7th. Let's let's talk about that. What's going on that day? Mm -hmm. So this is our annual event. We I think this is our eighth year, actually. The past two have been online <laughs> because of COVID. Um, so this is our first year back um, in person. So we're pretty excited about that. December 7th, Heritage Hall in Kempville. Um, diversity day is a free event and it's open to anybody. Um, we normally attract a lot of service providers, um, people who are involved in refugee sponsorship, um, international students, immigrants, community members who have no affiliation with any organization. We encourage everyone to come. Um, this year's theme is the attraction and retention of immigrants to Leeds and Grenville. Um, just because of the local labor market challenges, we thought this was kind of timely. Um, so we have some immigrants who have been here <clears throat> excuse me, um, just a couple of years. We have someone who has been in Canada and Leeds and Grenville about 20 years. So they're going to be talking about their experience of living in Leeds and Grenville, um, why they came here, what has kept them here. We have a local employer who hires immigrant staff. They're going to talk about their experience with that. They're also an immigrant, so it's a, a kind of a nice combo. Um, we have an international student speaking. So lots of lived experience that is going to be shared at this event, and I think it'll be of interest to everybody. And it's always nice to have, and I like the way you said that, the lived experience. There's mm -hmm. people that, uh, that have gone through the process and they're going to be able to tell their story. Exactly, exactly. And we do a survey at the end of every event, and our, the feedback that we get from people is that they want to hear more stories from immigrants. That's what is most interesting to them. So that's what we've tried to do this year especially. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is your catchment area? What area is it you cover? So it's all of Leeds and Grenville. All yeah. of Leeds and Grenville. So anybody, yeah. and so, it's a free event too. 
It's a free event. It's a free event. So most of the folks who come are from Leeds and Granville, but we, I know, have some people from Kingston attending this year and in the Ottawa area as well. So, um, yeah, it's open to whoever is interested. So, I mean, if people want to come and they're immigrants themselves or if people are their their employers or, or they you know, they just want to promote their, their community, they'd be mm -hmm. there. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are you looking for people to register ahead of time? Mm -hmm. We are. We just need to know because we are offering um, breakfast and a nice hot lunch for everybody. So we need to know numbers for that. Um, but there's a registration link. I'm not sure, if, Kathy, if you have that poster somewhere. I but... do have the poster. Yeah, we send it through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's a registration link um, with Eventbrite. It just takes a couple of seconds to enter your name in there. Or people can connect with me or my colleague just through email and let us know. Excellent, excellent. And it's at Catered Affairs in uh, Kempel. And anybody familiar with that uh, that area, it's uh, the old Kempel College and it was the cafeteria. It formerly was the cafeteria. <laughs> and the, the good folks at Catered Affairs, they're amazing. They're amazing. You will be uh, uh, pleased with whatever they serve you. They're amazing. They're great people mm -hmm. to work with as well, too. <laughs> That's where it's going to be located. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. So uh, Diversity Day, December 7th, and that's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. And it starts yeah. at 8.45 in the morning till 1 o'clock. Yep. Free event. Right. And just to Great. register online just to give you some numbers. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you very much for joining us and telling us more about your Diversity Day. Uh, we'll be posting a poster, and you've got a, a website and a Facebook page as well. Yes, that's right. We've been doing a lot of promotion on that. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Have you got an idea of numbers of how many people are showing up so far? Um, I think we're at around 50 this year, okay. um, which is a little lower than than regular years. But we've moved it into December this year. I'm not sure why I did that, but <laughs> people are busy in December, I'm realizing. Um, but still a strong, a strong group of folks attending this year. So we're happy about that. That's great. That's mm -hmm. great. The need happens all year round, no matter what. Yes, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Well, I thank you for what you do. And thank you very, very much for joining us again here on FYI. Melissa Francis, you are the program manager at St. Lawrence Rito Immigration Partnership for Leeds and Grenville. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much, Kathy.